So a lot of people have responded to the news that YouTube is getting rid of video responses by suggesting that they just don't understand what they're for and we should try and convince them that we need it. I think this is incorrect. I think that Google knows exactly what video responses are used for. They've simply decided that that's not something that they want to invest in anymore. But whenever YouTube announces a change that people don't like, they invariably try and start petitions and try and contact Google and try and let them know that we do not want this. And I think it indicates a very popular misconception that we happen to have about YouTube as a company, namely that they are the head of the YouTube YouTube community. Now with a democracy, they're supposed to have the best interests of all the people in mind. So marching on Washington is a very good idea if you feel that your needs are not being represented. But Google is a publicly traded corporation, which means that they have a separate set of obligations, specifically to protect the interests of their shareholders, which is kind of slang for make as much money as possible. In the past, those obligations overlapped what the community wanted because the way that YouTube made the most money was to encourage new and upcoming creators to collab and make cool stuff and build up an audience. Now, though, it's different because there are a lot of advertisers that are coming from cable and television that are trying to figure out what to do on the internet. And because of their background, what advertisers are most comfortable with is targeting a very specific program that reaches a wide audience, rather than just saying, well, we'll throw a few ads on this channel, a few ads on that one, a few ads over here. And if Google doesn't provide that, those advertisers could go away to another platform, and all of a sudden, YouTube is losing money, and their shareholders are angry and litigious. So Google's job now is to support already proven channels, which does kind of suck for all the rest of us. But here's the good news about YouTube, the company not being the leader of YouTube the community. We don't have to stay on YouTube, but also we don't have to leave. We can use YouTube's free video hosting and distribution and replace the community aspects ourselves. YouTube embeds are pretty cool things, so my thinking is, let's just build a better YouTube. I build web stuffs, and frankly, tracking that this video happens to be a response to that video does not take a lot of extra effort. And there are a lot of other things that I would like that we could build that YouTube doesn't provide right now. Yes, like video replies, but also like comments. Can you imagine how awesome the world would be if we could have Reddit style comments on our videos, then it'd be a freaking amazing. Or the ability to subscribe to only parts of a channel in cases where channels may upload a whole bunch of different types of stuff. Here's one that I really want. I want to be able to autoplay my subscription feed like a playlist. I've been playing around with YouTube's API and all of those items that I mentioned are things that are very technically feasible. I know for a fact that we could do that. But I'm very aware that you may have suggestions of your own. So let me pose you this hypothetical question. If you were going to build a complete YouTube replacement what would you want it to be able to do? I'm serious, I want a list of features from you guys in the comments or in video responses. If you were going to build the perfect YouTube community platform, what would it be able to do? I don't think it's a good idea to petition YouTube to change their minds for two reasons. One is that it asks them to operate in a way that may not work with their own corporate interests, which they have a responsibility to fulfill. And two, it reinforces that idea that YouTube runs this community. No, we're the community and we're gonna start running it. So let me know what you wanna see and please share this video out so that we can have as many people in this discussion as possible. This is the start of something really big.